Hello everyone and welcome to English Like a Native with me, Anna English. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning all about... Excuse me, sorry. Hello. That's right, we're doing a lesson all about telephone English. Talking on the phone can be very stressful and I'm going to let you into a little secret. I used to have a fear of answering the phone and even now I get very nervous when I have to speak to someone on the telephone. And it's made even worse when English is not your first language. The reason that talking on the telephone is so stressful is because you're removing important communication elements such as body language and lip reading. All you have to rely on is your ear and your voice. But in many jobs, talking on the phone is a necessity and you require those skills. So let's talk about telephone business English. And if after this video you feel you need a more comprehensive guide, then I do have an ebook available on my website as well. And that is available via the link in the description box below. So firstly, let's look at answering the phone. You cannot simply in a work environment answer the phone by saying, hello because the person on the other end will think that perhaps they dialed the wrong number. So there are a few different ways in which you might answer the phone in a work environment, but here are a few options. You could answer simply by saying the company name, Jitterbug Limited, or you could answer by saying the company name and then your own name. Hello, Jitterbug Limited, Anna speaking. Or you could answer by saying the company name, your own name, and then, how may I help you? Hello, Jitterbug Limited, Anna speaking, how may I help? If you're the person making the call, then always start off by saying hello, and then it's always good to introduce yourself. Now, you can choose whether you want to just introduce your name, or you could, and it's probably better to introduce your name and where you are calling from, whether you are a customer or if you're calling from another company, it's always good to let them know who they're dealing with in the very early stages. And always try to be clear and precise when giving this information, but don't be surprised if you're asked to repeat this information later in the call. So here are some examples. Ah, hello, this is Anna. I'm just calling because... Hello, this is Anna speaking. I'm just calling because... Hello, this is Anna speaking, calling from the post office. I'm just calling because... Some people feel it is more professional to introduce yourself with your full name. However, this is a little old fashioned, but it does depend on the industry in which you work. For example, if you work for a law firm, then that definitely needs a more formal approach. So in a law firm, you would use your full name. However, in a trendy, up-to-date design company, then it would be a little bit old fashioned to be using your full name on the phone. And much better to go for the friendly approach of just saying, hello, my name's Anna. If I'm making the call and there's someone I specifically want to speak to, or there's a certain department I want to be put through to, then I'm going to first speak to the receptionist and ask them to connect me to the right person. Some of the phrases I might use are... Hello, could I speak to Mr X, please? Hello, is Mr X in today? Oh, hello, can you put me through to Mr X, please? Hello, can I have extension 123, please? Oh. If you've been given a special extension number to reach a certain person, then you'll either be asked to dial the extension number in or you'll be asked by the receptionist what extension you want. And then you just quote the extension number for them to put you through. Thank you. But if you don't know exactly who it is you need to speak to, you just know you need to speak to the marketing manager or the editor or somebody in the finance department, for example, then you'd simply say, may I speak to someone in the finance department, please? Uh, can you put me through to the finance department, please? Hello, is it possible to speak to the finance manager, please? If the person you want to speak to is not available, then you will probably be given the option to leave a message. 
Now the information that you'll be expected to leave in a message is as follows. Your name, the company you're calling from, a brief description as to why you're calling, a call to action, so tell them that you would like them to call you back or let them know that you'll be calling them this afternoon and they should expect your call or ask them to drop you an email perhaps. And then finally, a contact telephone number or email address. This is really important. If they don't know how to contact you, then they won't be able to get back in touch with you. Hello, it's Anna here from English Like a Native. I just wanted to confirm what time you'd like your lesson tomorrow. If you could drop me an email to confirm what time is suitable for you, then that would be fantastic. My email address is englishlikeanative at email dot email. All right, I will look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Whether you are making the call or receiving the call, if you have any trouble understanding what the other person is saying, then don't panic. You could say one of the following lines. I'm sorry, could you repeat that please? Would you mind spelling that out for me? Would you mind speaking slowly for me please? I'm afraid this is a very bad line. Could you speak up? Now I'm going to give you eight of the most common telephone phrasal verbs. Number one, hold on. If you're being asked to hold on, then it means wait for a moment. Don't do anything. Don't end the call. Don't go away from the phone. Just wait. Hold on. Number two, hang on. Hang on is exactly the same as hold on. It's just slightly less formal. Hang on a second. Number three, put through. To be put through or to put somebody through means that you are going to connect the call. Hang on a moment, I'll put you through. Number four, get through. If you get through, it means you have been successfully connected. If you can't get through, it means you've tried to call, but you can't connect with anyone. Perhaps nobody is answering the phone or perhaps the phone line is busy. I just can't get through. Number five, hang up. If you hang up, then you end the call. So I could say, oh, he just hung up on me. I can't believe it. Or I might say, wait, don't hang up. I think he's just walked in the office now. I'll put you through. Number six, call back. If you call someone back, it means that you are returning their call. So you might ask for a call back. Hello, could you call me back in five minutes? I'm very busy right now. Number seven, pick up. To pick up means to answer the call. So if the phone is ringing, I might say to you, could you pick that up? Could you pick up the phone? Did you pick up the call? And finally, number eight, get off. If you get off, then you get off the call, you get off the phone, you end the conversation. So um, I must get off the phone. I'm so sorry. I've got to get off now. Bye. And on that note, I too must get off. But before I leave, don't forget to give this video a thumb up if you enjoyed it. If you do want a more comprehensive guide to business telephone English, then do remember there's a link to the ebook down in the description box below, along with lots of other fantastic links, including my social media links. So come and follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter if you so desire. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Take care and goodbye.